1.2 indices. Index indicates the number of time the base is used as a factor. A. A is called the base. N is called the index. A N is read as A to the power of N. Rules of indices. Okay, number one. A power of M times A power of N equals to A and all power of, power of M plus N. Number two. A power of M divided by A power of N equals to a power of m divided by a power of n equals to a power of m minus n. Number three, a power of m and all power of n equals to a power of m times n. Number four, a times p and all power of m equals to a power of m times p power of m. For number 5, a divided by p and all to the power of m equals to a to the power of m divided by p to the power of m where b not equals to 0. Number 6, a to the power of 0 equals to 1 where a not equals to 0. For number 7, A to the power of negative M equals to 1 divided by A to the power of M. For number A, A to the power of M divided by N equals to N square root of A to the power of M equals to N square root of A and all to the power of m and the last one number nine a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n equivalence to m equals to n example six without using calculator evaluate a 9 to the power of negative 3 over 2 so equals to 1 over 9 to the power of 3 over 2 so equals to okay we write 9 with the smallest space so we get 1 over 3 square and all the power of 3 over 2 and then we simplify we cancel 2 and 2 so we get 1 over 3 good okay and then the final answer is 1 over 27 for question B 0 0.04 and all to the power of negative 3 over 2 so equals to 1 over 0 0.04 to the power of 3 over 2 so equals to 1 over change 0 0.04 to the fraction form so we get 4 over 100 to the power of 3 over 2. Then, we change 4 and 100 to the smaller space. So, we get 4 is 2 square over 100 is 10 
square and then the power of 3 over 2 then you write 1 over simplify here we get 2 over 10 square and then and all to power of 3 over 2 to simplify we cancel 2 and 2 so we get 1 over 2 over 10 cubes after that 1 divided by 2 over 10 cubes we change 1 divided to times 10 over 2 cube so we get 5 cube and the last answer is 1 2 5 example 7 simply 5 a 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 6 divided by 3 to the power of 4. Okay, from the question, all base are same. So, when the base multiply, the index will be plus and when the same base divide, so the index will be minus. Okay, so from here equals to 3 power of 5 time will be plus 6 and divide by 3 power of 4. So you can write minus 4. So we get 3 to the power of 7. And the last answer we get 2187. Question B is cubes times B and all to the power of 2 divided by A to the power of A times B to the power of negative 2. So equals to first step we solve them in to the bracket okay so a 3 times 2 is 6 times b power of 1 times 2 is 2 divided by a power of a times b power of negative 2 so equals to then we solve the same base first base a so a power of 6 when divide by a power of 8 so you can write minus 8 then base b power of 2 okay when divide by b power of negative 2 so here you can write minus negative 2 next equals to a 6 minus 8 equals to negative 2 times B 2 minus negative 2 you get 4 and then simply 5 we get B power of 4 over A squared example A by using the rule of indices, evaluate the square root of 3 and all cubes times 27 to the power of 1 over 4 times 3 to the power of negative 1 over 4. Okay, first step, we write the question. Square root of 3 cubes times 27 power of 1 over 4 times 3 power of negative 1 over 4 so equals to change square root of 3 to 3 
power of 1 over 2 cubes time and then change 27 to the smallest base so we get 3 cubes power of 1 over 4 times 3 power of negative 1 over 4 Okay, and then simplify, we get 3, 1 over 2 times 3, we get 3 over 2 times 3, 3 times 1 over 4, we get 3 over 4 times 3 to power of negative 1 over 4. Okay, when the same base is multiply so the index will be plus so here can write the base is 3 and then the index is 3 over 2 time will be plus 3 over 4 time so we will be plus negative 1 over 4 Okay, so we get this squared and the last answer we get 9. Example 9, find the value of x for the following equation. A, 5 power of x equals to 125. First, we look at the question we have two term so we using comparison both side okay we write 125 in base 5 so we get 5 power of x equals to 5 cubes since the base are the same we equate the index so we get x equals to 3 for question b 27 power of x plus 1 equals to 9 power of x minus 1 okay find 27 and number 9 for the smallest base for number 27, the smallest base is 3 cubes to the power of x plus 1 equals 2. For number 9, the smallest base is 3 squared to the power of x minus 1. Since the base are the same, we equate the index. So, you can write 3 times x plus 1 equals to 2 times x minus 1. Okay, then we expand. We get 3x plus 3 equals to 2x minus 2. Then, we find the value of x. So, here 3x minus to add equals to move 3 to the right side so we get negative 2 minus 3 3x three minus 2x we get x equals to negative 5 example 10 solve the following equation a 5 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to 6 times 5 to the power of x minus 1 First, we look the question. We can see three term here. One, two, three. So, we use the substitution method. From the question, we look the smallest space. The smallest space is 5 to the power of x. By using the index rule, we separate 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. So, you can write. 5 power of 2x time 
5 to the power of 1 equals to 6 times 5 to the power of x minus 1. Then we can write 5 times 5 to the power of x squared equals to 6 times 5 to the power of x minus 1. Rearrange the equation in general form of quadratic equation. So, you can write 5 times 5 to the power of x square minus 6 5 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 0. Next, by using the substitution method, Let's 5 to the power of x equals to y. So, you can write 5y squared minus 6y plus 1 equals to 0. Then, we factorize. We get 5y minus 1 times y minus 1 equals to 0. Five y minus 1 equals to 0. And here we can get y equals to 1 over 5. Or y minus 1 equals to 0, so y equals to 1. Okay. Here, not the last answer yet. So, we have to find the value of add. So, we substitute y equals to 1 over 5 into 5 of add equals to y. So, 5 of x equals to y and then 5 to the power of x y is 1 over 5 ok 5 to the power of x equals to we know that 1 over 5 equals to 5 to the power of negative 1 ok since the base are the same we equate the index so, x equals to negative 1. Okay, then for y equals to 1. So, if 5 power of x equals to y. So, 5 power of x, y equals to 1. So, 5 to power of x equals to, as we know, 1 is 5 to power of 0. So, since the base are same, we equate the index, we get x equals to 0. Therefore, the answer are x equals to negative 1 or x equals to 0. Question B. 4 to the power of x minus 6 times 2 to the power of x equals to 16. From the question, we look the smaller space. The smaller space is 2 to the power of x. Okay, so we change 4 to the base 2. So, we can write 2 square to the power of x minus 6 times 2. 2 to the power of x equals to 16. Then we simplify and rearrange the equation in general form of quadratic form. So you can write 2 to the power of x squared minus 6 times 2 to the power of x. Minus 16 equals to 0. 
Okay. By using the substitution, let's 2 power of x equals to y. And then substitute into the equation. So we get y squared minus 6y minus 16 equals to 0. Then we factorize the equation. We get y minus 8 times y plus 2 equals to 0. Then we find y y minus a equals to 0, y equals to 8. Or, y plus 2 equals to 0, so y equals to negative 2. Here, here not the last answer, so we must find x, then substitute y equals to 8 into 2 to the power of x. Okay, for y equals to 8, 2 to the power of x equals to y. So, 2 to the power of x equals to 8. Change 8 to the base 2. So, we get 2 to the power of x equals to 2 to the power of 3. Since the base are same, so we equate the index. So we get x equals to 3. Or for another answer, when y equals to negative 2. Okay, so 2 power of x equals to negative 2. Find negative 2 to the base 2. But we cannot change negative 2 to the base 2. So, negative 2 and define. Therefore, the last answer is x equals to 3.